So this scheme revitalizes the surroundings of the open air theatre designed by the Greek architect Dakizanetos in 1965 for a disused quarry in the middle of Yukavitos Hill, and that's the highest point uh, in the centre of Athens, and also happens to be very near to where I grew up. And you can see the original idea in these drawings and photographs from the time. The solid platform of the stage supporting this delicate steelwork that forms the seating. So it's like a transparent version of an ancient amphitheater suspended within this limestone crater. So these early sketches led to the main strategy, which was to remove the dressing rooms and later additions from under the theatre to restore its original transparency and create this daytime cafe, uh, interval bar and even nighttime club under the seating. And at the same time, the space adjacent to the theatre we reimagined as a new public space for the city. And the space is divided into two terraces to make more of these spectacular views over the city and the upper terrace and allows for new trees to be planted and a rainwater system to be housed under the public space without any further cutting into the rock. And here you can see me exploring the form of those terraces and the points of opening to the view and screening of the view with trees for shaded areas. Eventually this developed into a single terrace that uh, unified the scheme. And then the buildings uh, that support the theatre would form a protective enclosure with new entrance and exit from the crater of the theatre. So these drawings explored how the front edge of the buildings makes an echo of the existing rock faces behind, how and whether the buildings connect. I'm trying to draw a kind of contour line around the outside of the buildings. And then these planted pergolas connect the buildings with an external route for theatre staff that incorporates existing trees and provides shade. So this terraced landscape is a permanent plinth for the more lightweight um, cross-laminated timber buildings, which are in principle reversible. Um, and they're pigmented to recall the colour of the theatre steelwork, just as the whole arrangement recalls that contrast between the solid plinth and the lightweight superstructure established by Zanetos' original scheme.